making his way down to the ring. He's not, he's nearly is. He's, he's well and truly taking his time. And to be fair, I don't blame him. Sometimes you need that little bit of extra time just to get your mind right, just get that little extra focus. And nothing wrong with that at all. Taking time. There we go. He's making his way to the ring very, very slowly. He's finally got there. I was thinking about something out of search pie, but here he is. Never heard his name before, but again, Mitchell Walsh, he's got a bit of a size, sizable following here, so let's have a look to see what he brings to the pie. There we go, we've got Mitchell Walsh here, making his way down to the ring. Got Dimitris with a clear height advantage, so I'm wondering whether he's going to play the long game or whether um, whether Mitchell going to allow him to do so. Hello again, Robert. You all right? Hello again, Kieran. Round Ready one. to rumble, Mitchell Walsh and Dimitrius Sibaksut. Oh, it's Mitchell Walsh establishing that jab from the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of clinching but, out, but separation. Dimitri there, well, bit, very, very smart. When you're under pressure, sometimes you've got to, you've got to just hold and just ride it out a little bit. Do you know much about Dimitri's kid at all? I, 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 don't, I don't know much about him, to be fair. Um, he looks competent enough. He looks like he knows what he's doing. He's, he's obviously, so far, he's not been hit with anything clean. Um, he, you know, threw a jab, good job to the body, to Mitchell's body there. He's got his right hand up. Well, what I would say about um, Dimitris is that when he when he comes back, he's, he's coming down with his head with his chin wide in the air. So we need to make sure that when he comes back, he comes back with his chin down. Or nevertheless, he, he got he retreats on the back foot. Well said. Make sure there with two double jabs. Dimitris going in with the early clinches there. It's mm. only just to, just to try and offset minute. offset uh, Mitchell driven. What I would say though, Mitchell right now, he's looking to try and throw a big, a big right hand. He doesn't really need to do that at this moment in time. Yeah. So, again, it's a four round fight. He just needs to just, to really just ease his way into it. You know, start establishing jabs. There we go, nice double jab. He didn't quite yeah, nice get the range, jab, but yeah. just, you know, just establish it first. Good body shot. I think he's found that body shot there. He has, he has. To be fair, it looked to me he was a bit behind the back, but it's one of the things, you know, you, it's not one, it wasn't intentional. Very, very good to look from Demetrius. Again, uh, again, I just want to see Mitchell really establish his jab. Demetrius should be do. Is, he should. He should be the one who's establishing his jab because he's a, he's a bigger man. He's got taller arms. He's got longer yeah. arms. So the fact that he's not doing so it means that he, to me he's, he's boxing very, very negatively. And obviously Mitchell can capitalise on that. Lovely cut right from Mitchell. Uh, Demetrius having a bit of a walk around. Now, this is the same thing I was saying before about, I, I think it was um, Paul Evans' fight. Demi what Dimitri's doing, he's jabbing in his hands, he's not going straight back to his chin. It's just staying in the air a little bit and he needs to pull it back, do you know what I mean? Just bring it straight back to your chin. And yeah. Take the risk out, risk of a counter out of it. That jab and then straight back, right to the chin. Exactly. We've seen that not happen 
a few times and that's when you get caught. Oh, definitely, definitely. What I'd say, um, is, 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 it's very, very interesting so far. Again, it doesn't look like at any point that Dimitri's been under major pressure. Mitchell's been the one he's throwing the double jab. He's not really worked a lot. And to be fair, Dimitri's has probably worked a lot less. So I have to say, in terms of activity, I give that one to Mitchell. He could definitely up his, up his work rate. Yeah, I'll definitely. definitely say, I'll definitely say he could do that. I get that it's his, um, it's his debut. No doubt about it. Everyone's going to be nervous in the first one, especially in the big stage as a professional. Definitely. But you need to stick to your boxing basics. You need to establish your jab. Once you start establishing your jab, then you start need to, you need to start thinking about different er different areas of contact. You've got to think about maybe I throw a jab and a left hook afterwards, or maybe I throw a jab and a right hook to the body, or maybe I feint a jab and throw a left hook and then a right cross to the body. You need to, you need to start mixing up. You can't just depend on a jab, jab, a jab, jab, jab. I'm not following up on. I'm not following up after it. What do you think, Bobby? Do you know what? It's a, it's a bit more activity, as you said there now, which might take place in the second round. Um, up in the game on both behalves, yeah, most definitely. A bit more activity, yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Hopefully, again, the first round's always the worst, you know. It'll, I'm sure it'll warm up. There we go, Demetrius taking ring centre. That lovely jab to the stomach. So once looking for that body shot there, Wham Demetrius on the corner ropes. A bit of a tumble there, back to the centre of the ring. Is Mitchell looking for that right hand? Is the range correct to do it? Yeah, I'd say so. Mm, definitely. He's, he's, he's Lo lovely shots from Demetrius, but again, one, one straight a little bit low. One thing but Mitchell again, has got, he's got good range. He has, he has. He's got a nice snappy jab, but... Unfortunately, he's, he's falling into it. Right, he's not throwing that right hand straight. He's looping it, and yeah, if he yeah. feels to throw it straight, he'll probably catch. He'll probably catch Dimitri with a straight right hand. With a straight right hand, most definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dimitri with a little flurry there. That makes sense. Back to the action. Nice job from Mitchell. Nice right nice hand from right Mitchell. Hand. Nice left up from Dimitri. He wouldn't, wouldn't have much force into it, but he still caught him. Oh, was he, I, oh, I think he's wobbled him. I think he's wobbled him. He has. Oh, right. oh, Mitch, oh, Mitchell's gone. The, the fight's over. Stopped it. The fight's over. Sugar Ray Leonard. Wow. The fight's Chris over. Say just going over now. The just to what? That's a surprise. The fight's over. The, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. The Sorry. fight's over. Fight's over. Wow. And this is this is that old adage in boxing. It is not over until it's over. I've got I've got to say, do you know what? When I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and when I'm right, I'm right. And in this occasion, I was wrong, but I was very, very happy to be wrong. Dimitri, he took his time. The first round, he looked like he was getting boxed all over. Um activity was very was very, very low. And I don't know, he's he, he came out with a with um with a counter from nowhere, caught Mitchell cold. Unfortunately, Mitchell was dazed and he just he just he just he he didn't he didn't he didn't grab Dimitri and he got and he just capitalized. He capitalized on it. Fight's over. Fight's over. It's, it's one of them. Um, you know, no, 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 nobody wants nobody wants to lose in a professional debut, but it's just one of them.